All right, Brian, I put five grand on it. Five grand. <laughs> What's up? I was just hitting myself <laughs> in the head. All right, everybody, we're back with another episode. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. This bad boy's coming out, it's just a big fur. Only thing really tricky about this one, well, a couple houses next to it and about, uh, about a million wires running all around it. It's a good thing that we just went through our power line, it's our ACRT class, so we're line clearance certified, so we can be working around these power lines. So isn't that cool how that worked out? <laughs> uh, but anyways, we're gonna crane it out. Maybe we'll guess what it weighs, see how it goes. It should be pretty straightforward. It should be pretty fun. So let's get right to it. Let's see where we're at. Oh, shit. Did I hit something already? My head? We need to get the front lifted up. We're gonna have to put at least two boards under each front tire. All right, so with all these boards, the extra boards that we have, let's go three boards under each front tire. So now we're getting the crane set up. So it's really important, you see, we have to put all these layers on there. It's really important that this particular type of crane is level, zero degrees, front, back, side to side. So sometimes it requires us to jack it way up in the air and not all trucks are like that. So just this particular truck, it's really important we're level. And so it's, it's nice because you can set it up on super steep embankments. You know, you can, you can set it up all sorts of places, but it just requires a ton of wood to do so. So that's what we're dealing with here. And that's why we've got to stuff the tires and you know, it's sort of, you know, put as much wood as you could fit under it, stuff the tires, lift the pad out, stuff more wood under it, put it back down until we're level. So this is probably one of the most time consuming parts about crane work, but it's definitely worth it. It just makes the job so much more efficient, you know, being able to set up the truck. Even if it takes an hour or even two hours sometimes to set up the truck, we found it's pretty much always faster to just use the crane. Yeah, probably the only downside to this crane versus the old crane is you see in the front, there's nothing there. The old crane had this stabilizer, so you could put that down. It's basically a jack to hold the crane in place so that you can lift the other outriggers up and stuff more boards. This crane doesn't have it, so we literally have to put wood under the tires and then lift it up, both, both tires, so it takes twice as much wood. Um, that way we can lift the outrigger pads up to get more wood under there so we can get level. It's just nothing but hills everywhere out here. We're in Kirkland right now, it's by Seattle, and it's just nothing but hills everywhere. But that, that's the biggest downside to this crane, well, the only downside to this crane really. If they just want to put a stabilizer, it'd be better, but now we gotta, we gotta stuff the tires all the time. It's, it's pretty annoying. So how are we looking? Let me know as soon as they start touching. Okay, we'll replace this one with that one. One more we're doing. All right, Brian. Well, hopefully, this gets us to where we need to be. So actually, you know, we should probably know exactly what we're working around with these wires. It'd be good to identify the parts. Will just took the class. You know Will, he just has been here a couple months. He literally uh, came from the YouTube videos, but he just took the class with me, the power line safety class. Let's go ask Will. Let's see if he knows what he's looking at here. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> so, Will, what kind of power lines are we looking at there and there? So we've got a residential drop coming from the main pole coming down 13 kV and we're working underneath this uh, transformer and it splits off and goes to these other homes. So we've got to maintain a, a specific safe distance 
from all the power lines at all times today while we're working so we can be safe. Nice. And are those the same ones over there, those wires? What, what, what's going on? Yeah, so we there? got the, the 13 kV coming to the transformer, and then it goes down the transformer and it goes to a usable energy, which is usually uh, 240 volts, uh, about 200 amps, thereabouts. And that's what goes down to the houses, but we've got to still stay away from those um, while we're working. Yeah. Good job, Will. I hate you. Scott used to live in a yurt. Yeah, that? that's probably why he doesn't sleep outside anymore. Probably. <laughs> Man, I got a yurt. He's yurt. probably drinking yak milk and everything, you know? Yak milk? <laughs> yeah, that's what, that, that's what people do when they live in yurts. They drink yak milk. <laughs> I don't think he had a yak. He probably did. You have a yak in your ear? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to answer that. <laughs> she had goats. Oh, uh, is that a yes? <laughs> yes, goats. Basically, yeah. they yeah. How far off the ground are the rear tires? You're you way off the goats. ground, Brian. You didn't milk goats? Yeah. No. No, eh? So, yeah. They were there to eat blackberries. So what are we going to do with goats? You're going to milk those goats. I was just saying, you guys I mean, I'm not going to keep them as pets. Yeah. I'm not you that kind them? of... I would eat them. You would eat them. Yeah. Would you milk them? They got fiber. They got really nice fiber. You could start, you know, get in and in. <laughs> like a, like a, a Christmas sweater. Yeah. That's what I, I'm lacking in my life is more knitting. You know that scene in Star Wars when Luke Skywalker is like sucking on the milk in the new one? The what? It's really, uh, really I weird scene. I haven't seen the new one. You haven't seen the new ones? No. Oh, Episode eight, I think. Luke Skywalker's like sucking down some yak milk. Oh, is he? <laughs> you sure it was yak? It was like a space yak. A space <laughs> yak. <laughs> Luke, Luke Skywalker was going to town on his milk. I, maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I think I think that's what was happening. A yak? Yeah, Star Wars kind of not what it used to be. <laughs> Talk about have, goats. It might have been a space goat. I can't remember. Looks like I will be at least a couple of feet above these lowest lines in terms of my outrig uh my counterweights. During that rotation, I was pretty close. I'm way up at 75 degrees. Okay, so I'll take a pick, boom over to the left a little bit, and I'll boom. I'll start by boom down before swinging more. Hey, Kevin. Kevin, what kind of harness do you have? It's like the baby brother to the uh, monkey beaver. Oh, really? Yeah. Can I try it? Yeah, it'll fit. You can try it. Will's got the uh, the monkey beaver if you want to try that out. No way I'm fitting into Will's harness. How are you going to fit into mine? Actually, you know what's funny? This is the smallest size they make and I, Dude, and I literally max this thing out. What? That's your waist? No, I have to come all the way to here. My waist is even smaller than that lot. It is. I'm just going to wear my harness. I didn't realize. No, it's got a big range to it. But look at that. There's still a lot of room there. You got a dainty waist. I do, like I can't even go much. That's why I got the suspenders. Like that's all the way. What's your waist size? Probably like a 28? 25, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably yeah. 28 or something. You got a nice figure. <laughs> it's a tight figure, it's a tight waist. <laughs> no, but this thing extends out, like look at that. Like you, even with your, what? <laughs> figure. <laughs> what you even, even with your voluptuous figure. <laughs> You can <laughs> see what this harness is about. It's super lightweight. It is really lightweight. You're probably, if you spend too much time in it, you might not like it. But well, what? why? Because it's just These like not suspenders? as padded as like the monkey beaver and stuff. It's like for I never tried the monkey beaver. It's for a uh, for a petite. I don't get it. I, I just got you this. Yeah, do this every time you put the suspenders on. No, no, I j I'm just putting this together right now oh you haven't even tried it yet i haven't even i haven't even put this on yet oh you haven't even ran the suspenders i haven't even ran them yet will has though uh, what do you got to say about the suspenders well, I, like, I like them a lot he likes them a lot uh, i took your special first time away i didn't mean to oh i see what's going on 
I just want your first time to be special. It's not about me. It's about you. It's special for me. In your you to, I want you to feel special too. This is pretty lightweight, man. All right. Thanks. Yeah, let me you try it out. Saw too? No way. What do you think this tree weighs? The whole thing. Overall. Should do another what's it weigh video, huh? I'll go first. I, I'll say it's 30,000 pounds. Uh, tw 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 25. I changed it to 25,000. Oh, 30. 35. 30. Scott says 35. 30. Kevin says 30. I say 25. 2250. <laughs> Brian, you here? <laughs> Brian? I know you're here, Brian. You really want me to use your spurs? Just, just do a weight test. Tell me what you think. I really like I'll try them. I'll try them. Super. That's, that's my thing, an ultra light. I, I don't want these. No. I like the Velcro. I, I'm too good. Oh my I, only, I only do Velcro really? lower straps. I can't, I can't go back, man. That adds like 10 pounds to your waist. Not this. <laughs> you know, I, I like trying new gear, but I can't. I was, I was thinking about getting some Velcro straps, so. Uh, yeah, I, 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 once you try the Velcro lower straps, okay. you, you just can't go back, no. It's all yeah. loose and jiggly on your foot, or yeah. it's too tight. All the Velcro right. gets it just right. right. Well, there it is. Yeah, I don't even want to look at those. Get them out of here. <laughs> I feel really rejected right now. <laughs> I reject uh, your spurs. I'll be in my I, den I denounce your spurs. I'd rather... I'd rather have like cheap spurs with the Velcro straps than expensive spurs without them. It's the best, it's so like the best part of the spur. Hold it. I got those peaches from a tree. That that grew peaches. Do you want one, Scott? Dude, I've I've got two peaches. Uh, but hey, there you took two of them. No, I've got two peaches from my tree. You got a peach tree? Yes, I do. Well, then don't even look at my peaches. Hey, uh, you know, in the in the pit of all those peaches, there's an earwig. same issue with my peaches. I mean, the, the meat's good, but... I guess it's it's not an issue. It's just the way it is when you grow peaches. Not when you buy a store-bought peach, right? You know, when you buy a store-bought, you don't have to deal with earwigs. Okay, boom down just a little bit, Brian. How much stick you got out, Brian? Um, how much stick? 147.3. You're 152 feet in the air. Okay. All right, that's good. Cable down. I hope I didn't fill my penis there. Okay, hold it. Dude, I'm not, I don't even know how to, un I'm not gonna be able to repel, like. You can't repel? Well, until I get this knot undone. Heck, man. I gotta get this weird knot undone. All right, I did it. Okay, hold it. Yep. Repel down now. Hold on. And I'm just gonna go, what kind of drop zone are we working with here? We've got a pretty decent drop zone, probably, uh, let's see. Uh, I'd say 35 feet we can play with. The leg straps on this harness aren't very comfortable, Kevin. But it is very light. Alright, Brian, go ahead and put 
500 pounds on that. Brian, you never guessed the weight of the tree. What do you think it weighs? What do I think this tree weighs? Yeah. Um, 250,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe like 26,000 pounds. 26,000 pounds? It's not very big wood. Okay, rope bag out. I'm gonna go 20,000 pounds. All right. You ready? Ready. All right. 200. It's been a while since I used this. until it's closer to the ground every time so it gets so we get more accurate I still have a bouncing bouncing scale be a 16 footer. Six.
back on me, Brian. Can you uh, boom it up? I boomed up quite a bit. Is it not moving? Okay, good. Right there. Yep. It's a lot of weight. <laughs> put the wedge line in. Alright, shut her down. Yeah, it sucked it right off the spool. All of it. Yep. Yeah, that's why you should always just suck it in all the way. Yep. Yeah, you shouldn't just leave it off to the side. Yeah, I, yeah, man. You gotta, you gotta suck it in all the way. You can't just leave it off to the side because then a branch can grab it. So this is why you should, you know, at least uh, retract the cable all the way to this point where at least this is dangling. Not much is gonna grab it from that point or you can connect it to that uh, support there. But you don't leave it hanging on the side because branches can grab it and pull it in and then you got carabiners going through your drum. You got a bunch of line that can get clogged up in there and it's just hard on the equipment, slows the process down. Yep, just one of those things. It's a nice, uh, well, I hope somebody learns from our mistake. So, there you go, people. Now it's starting to really look like reality TV. Oh, okay. We still got, it's still working. Let's start it up. 
Pull Start down. it up. Be a bit bigger than the last one. Cable down. Okay, hold it. Right. Round two. Cable up. Okay, hold it. Okay, Brian, put, I don't know, a thousand pounds on it. Okay, hang out for the minute while I wrangle up everything else. All right, Brian, I put five grand on it. Five grand? What's up? I was just 
hitting myself in the head. What? Okay. <laughs> Can somebody get me a wedge? Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Dang, wish I had a hammer or something. I need a banger. Dude, <laughs> that's really close. Really close. You got this. Ah, all right. <laughs> keep that with me at all times. Got this like really expensive crane. Can't afford a hatchet. <laughs> He has a proper axe. Oh, there you go. Yep. Hold it. <laughs> I don't know where to put my stub. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold it. Yep, okay. I'm free. Okay. Nice job. Thank you. Threading the needle there. Look at all those wires. You did it. I was a little skeptical by the fact that you couldn't get the saw started, <laughs> but then you got it started extra good. I cut it super good. So. Yeah, it's just been sitting cold for too long. You should probably let me hold on to it. <laughs> Make sure it's it's that, uh, warmed up regularly. That saw. It's a low miles saw. I try to keep it low miles. Oh, I will. These aren't gonna be. <laughs> I'll take care of our saw. I seen your saw. It looks like it's 20 years old. Mine? It is 20 years old. Exactly. <laughs> How old is that one? Um, that's probably two or three years old. 
or three years old. It really doesn't have a lot of hours on it because I only use it for like big stumps and, and like big crane picks and stuff. I love this. I love this saw. That's kind of a oh, high yeah. stump. That's a pretty high stump. It's a lot of saw. It's a lot of man. Okay. I am a lot of man. <laughs> I do want to say you're probably the best wedge boy I've ever had. <laughs> Will? <laughs> Will? <laughs> Uh, all my dream, all my dreams have come true. The best wedge boy true at East Side. Poly. The best wedge boy at East Side. True works. You stick with me long enough. <laughs> I don't know, man. That stump is pretty high. Maybe we should have cut it lower. Yeah, so what do you think? Are you happy with everything? Oh, uh, I'm just amazed. I'm just amazed at how efficient. I mean, you came around eight o'clock and here you are and you're ready to leave. And, yeah. And uh, watching you work is like watching a ballet. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's funny. That's that's not the first time I've heard somebody reference, reference well, it like that. Well, I mean, like it, was like, it was like a fine dance, you know? I mean, particularly with the way the person operating the crane and everything and the people going up and down the tree and and everything just kind of came together you're obviously a, a well-trained crew yeah like everybody's doing different stuff yep. it's yeah it takes this it's, it's nice I've worked with these guys for a long time so most of them so it's, it's nice yeah. it's, it's nice everybody knows what's going on <laughs> yeah well you why, know, why, you want to tell, why do you have the tree removed well you see the lines here yeah we were really concerned about that because those are the everything for both our houses. Yeah. And it was actually cheaper to do the, take the tree down than to underground the wires. Right. You know, which is right. a whole other thing in terms of permits and all that good stuff. So yours was so simple. I mean, I went down to the city, got my permit, no problems, didn't cost me anything. And uh, so, and then you guys showed up and did a great job. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's always tricky, especially when it's, you know, like a tree's impeding two different properties. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to get that taken care of. Well, we've lived, we've lived next door to each other for a long time, so. Oh, nice. And the nice thing about a cul-de-sac is that you know your neighbors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I'd done some, I'd had East Side uh, here before to do a tree in my backyard. And uh, when we were looking for a company, uh, it just seemed natural to me. We've got great ratings and uh, you do a great job. <laughs> so, yeah, super cool. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for doing this. Oh, you're welcome. Cool. Well, we'll be out of here in just a few minutes. Okay, and, great. And then somebody yeah. will be coming to haul away the wood. Yeah, right? yeah, and grind this. <laughs> Brian. Brian? Brian, what it weigh? What it weigh, Brian? That tree weighed a total of 22,950 pounds. Exactly what I guessed. <laughs> what, what did everybody guess? Do I guessed remember? 20. Um, I think Will I guess guessed 25. Will guessed 22.5. Did he really? And it was 22.9? Yeah. Really? <laughs> what? He's the winner of Not Mutt. <laughs> Dude, Will. You guessed 22. What did you guess? 22.5. It was 22.9? I'm the winner. You Press get a free rules. load of wood chips. <laughs> <laughs> Take them down, right? I can't believe you got that close. Well, I just it's because my first guess was so close. Everybody had a reference point, you know? Yeah, I, I based my guess off your guess. See, if I wouldn't I have guessed, you, to... you would have said like 100,000 pounds <laughs> if I wouldn't have said anything. And then I, I, could have, I should have guessed last. Right. What's that smell? It smells okay. meaty in here. Is that meat? It's horseradish, mustard. Meat, cheese sticks. Heating it up on the dash? No. No, I'm not. Oh, it smells good. I had that in his bag for like Have a bite? You want to? Have a bite? Yeah. But you can't eat this one. I already bit this one. I can, just because you bit part of it doesn't mean I can't. <laughs> you don't know that? 
Man. Are you a mustard guy? I love mustard. This is delicious. It's hard tries. Okay, if I double dip. You double dip it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, just... I didn't think about Stunned. it until it was too late. Stunned. What about the double Who does dip? That? Who double dips on somebody else's mustard? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I double dipped. I should yeah. I should have flipped it. You well, flipped it. Like, That's all you gotta do is flip it. Yeah. I got mine. Okay. See you later, guys. And now, I'll enjoy. Yeah. The rest of your day. I will. You enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, like and subscribe. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Good segue. <laughs> hey fellas, if you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe. And if you like shorter videos, be sure to check out my second channel, Trees and Chips, where I'm posting highlights, clips, and scenes from the longer episodes on this channel. You can follow Eastside Tree Works on Facebook and Instagram. You can follow me, Guilty of Treason, on Instagram and TikTok. And if you want to come work with us here at Eastside Tree Works, be sure to click the link in the description below, fill out an application. We'd love to have you on board. And once again, thanks for watching.